Next, we're going to talk about coolant strategies in the mill turn environment for Mastercam 2024. I opened up the same part file, our bell housing. Next, I want to go over to our code expert, and we're going to look at the control layers for our consumer layer here. Next, we're going to go to our categories, and we're going to drop this down for our output settings. And we're going to look at our coolant strategies that we have created. If I drop this down, you can see that we already have a few created. We're going to edit some of these strategies. And inside of this editor here, we can actually create a new one as well. Uh, as you can see here, we have before approach, after approach, etc., showing on and off conditions. I would also like to note that there is a difference between the strategies and the actual coolant calls. Here we see M8s, M9s, etc. These coolant commands will have to be added by a licensed developer. For your own strategy, we can click to add our own strategy. And we're going to name our strategy in this upper field here. I'll say coolant through. We'll call this after approach. And for our drop down menu below, let's go ahead and give this a strategy description. So I'll call this M108 here, after approach. And in the columns, for after approach, we can click and give it the strategy that we're looking for. Notice that we can have multiple or multiple commands, excuse me. Uh, we can have multiple commands on and off added as well. I could go over to my after approach for my reposition and I could turn this on as well. And then before retract, I could turn this back off. I'm going to say OK to this and as we go over to our drop-down menu, you can now see the coolant strategy that we created here added. If I open this up, we could always go back and edit, just like my coolant name there I had to fix. There we go. And now, what you'll also notice is that there is an asterisk next to control over here. This lets me know that I need to save our settings. These strategies will get saved into your machine environment for the next time you use this machine. I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and we're going to reload this bell housing part. Once this bell housing part is reloaded, I'm going to go back to the code expert here, and we're going to look at the consumer level. We'll go back to our categories for output settings. And you can now see that this has been saved into your machine environment for use for later.